Hello! Welcome back to Okami, but in HD, I suppose. I don't really know how different it actually looks from the original version. It's been a while, to be fair, but also other things, like actually forgetting what it looked like. But hey, can I break this? Oh, I can make it grow grass, apparently. I don't, don't really know why I'd want to make it grow grass, but I can. So anyway, this time we're back, we're heading back to uh, Sakuya. God damn it. I forget, if you get really close to them, it's actually kind of hard to make stuff bloom. But anyway, we're heading back to Sakuya because she has grown up a bit. In theory is what we're doing anyway. Check your map again. We haven't seen everything there is to see. Never mind, we're going to explore some more. Uh, maybe later, actually. Let's go back and check on Sakuya. So, what we're missing from the the map of exploration is the uh, pier esque area, which we've technically already been to. It's where we got the. I need to sneeze, by the way. Hopefully, I edit that out. But if I don't, I sneeze. Um, the the place where we got the wanted list we're missing that area because i didn't actually walk far enough out on it and we're also missing the place where we need um another uh, brush technique to actually do anything i think i think oh no we don't no we can get through there i'm pretty sure maybe i don't know either way we'll end up over there at some point anyway so it's not like we're missing anything but uh, we do want to bloom all the... Oh, I forgot that's the go fast button, not the draw button. We do need to bloom all of the things. So we're going to quickly do that before we do anything else. I'm pretty sure we can go to that little that uh, island over there. But again, I believe we need something special to get there. I think. Let's find out. Yes. Because you can't actually jump out of the water and then do a wall jump. We need a platform to jump off of, but we don't have a platform to jump off of, so... Can't do that yet. Hey, what's up? What's well, a joy to see life returning to the land. Just 13 more to go. So he's telling you how many trees are actually left to bloom in this area. He doesn't tell you that for every area, unfortunately. This is awfully convenient, actually. We don't need to talk to everyone else here. Because we've already talked to everyone else here. So we're just gonna speed run blooming some trees right quick. Unfortunately, you lose all of your momentum. Momentum, not momentum. When you pull the brush out to draw, to bloom stuff. Most of the time, anyway. You can keep it, but it's very difficult. We're out of, we're out of ink. Oh, dang it. Too much bloom. Oops. Too much screwed up brush techniques. I believe the remaining trees should be up top. However many are left. I actually don't know how many are left. I haven't been counting, but I believe the rest should be up here. Oh, it actually counted. Noise. And this might be the last one. Bark. Certainly sounds like that was the last one. Hey. What's going on? At last, the answer to all of my prayers. All the village's trees have sprung back to life. It is time for the Konohana Shuffle. Are you guys ready for this? I don't think you guys are ready for this. 
Here we go. This is it. Sake of Valor. Notice he said gingerly sip. It's not really a ginger sip, but you know. Look at my pulsating orange. This is it, the Konohana Shuffle. From a 70,000 year old man. I guess I'll help, I suppose. You were doing fine on your own, but sure. I guess I guess I'll participate. I was actually not prepared to participate. I forgot I had to help. How many times do we do this? He's very mobile for an old man. I also like that he uses his beard to balance himself. Like a monkey's tail. We did it. Say hello to Sakuya's tree. But now pink. Hooray. At this point, this area is now completed. As far as a uh, favor that we can gain from here, I believe. Not for story purposes, but, you know, for beautification and whatnot. Hello, Sakuya. What bravery! I can't tell if he's passed out or sleeping or what. Or dying from a stroke. Can't really tell. Anyway, welcome to New Sakuya. As she fondles herself. Hey, that's me. Praise be to me. <laughs> yeah, you, you don't really have to do that, though. I'm okay with, without quite that much praise. You restore the guardian saplings spread about the land. That is, of course, our journey. It's what we're doing the entire game. There's generally one tree in every area. Except for towns and villages and stuff, I think. Although I don't think there are even that many towns and villages. Anyway, time for our next brush technique. I actually don't remember what this one is, but... Good job, dude. You hit the camera. You had one job. Origin of all that is good and mother to us all. Yes, indeed. That's me. Hello.
Right, what do you give me though? I don't remember. Is this wind? I don't remember all the brushes, I'm sorry. Oh, this is a water lily! That's what it is. That's the little rafts they keep talking about. This way, Amy, there is a location conveniently in this village in which to try this out. It's that treasure chest we saw earlier and tried to get to. Why don't you create some lily pads here? Now you can actually combine these with the wind brush technique, which creates wind as one might imagine. Uh, that way you can just create a single lily and then just blow it across the water instead of having to draw multiple lilies, which is what we'll have to do for now. Which also opens up the next location to us. So we draw a circle there. Huzzah! We've drawn a circle. Do I have to wipe it off? I'll let you have this new power. Let's use it to travel a bit further out of the village. Hint, hint, hint. Indeed, it's the red circle, by the way, not the yellow circle. We'll visit the other circle on the way over there, because it's right there, just so we can get that out of the way. I believe it gives us a little story. There are lots of guardian saplings that haven't blossomed, indeed. Look at it, gorgeous, and pink. Everyone likes pink. Uh, we may as well draw another one right here. There we go. You obtain sudden fragment, so that's two, I believe. Uh, can we get out there yet? Do I even want to get out there yet? It doesn't matter if we get in the water with the lilies, because we just plot back out, so we can just do stuff like this. Instead of drawing a continuous bridge of it, we can do that. Nope. Alright. I couldn't remember if we could actually get up there, but it is indeed impossible to get up here. At least for me, there may be a way to glitch your way up, but... I am not the one to be doing that. We're just going to go around this. Should be fine. Yeah. Alright, so before we actually leave... Do I need to go up there, actually? I don't think I do, but we're going to go check real quick anyway. It doesn't take long. Once you get your speed up, you can get around places pretty quick. As it demonstrated thusly. It's just sometimes getting your speed up is a little troublesome, but anyway. We're going to wander our way up here, just to see. I don't think we actually need to be up here, but... Oh, no, we do. Well, we don't have to, but... Here we go. Obtain a bullhorn! Hooray! As we uh, progress through the story, more of those... Whoa, camera. More of those fruits will show up, but also these two are here. Am I still dreaming? There we go. Lovely jubbly. Also, there's the statue of him himself. Not quite as magnificent as the dream-esque world that we saw it in originally. Do we have enough to level? We don't. I want to get another ink thing. Although soon we're going to have to get a pouch. A purse level. Every, uh, every purse level adds a zero to your max currency. So a single level of the purse is usually enough to last a really long time. Alright, so 
Our next destination is going to be back down at that little uh, pier with the wanted house. Shrine, whatever that is. Because apparently I didn't go far enough last time. Actually, before we go there, we're going to visit the dojo. I should have sold my stuff before leaving, but because I've already left, I'm not going to go back through the load screen just to sell that thing. We do have enough currency, right? Yeah. Enough yen. We could always fight stuff out here if we needed a little bit more anyway. Which we will. We will have to fight things. There's Mr. Runner, dude. Mentioned him before, he's a little minigame you can do to race him around. It's very difficult. I don't think I've ever actually done it. Whoa. That was weird. Hey, it's me. So we don't have a rosary still, we can't do that. Could I have bought a rosary? I don't think so. Uh, but instead we'll buy this, because having an extra combo on your uh, weapon's pretty good. I must warn you, it won't hold back this time. Ah, ooh, ah, ooh, rah. We're gonna skip that, because we've already seen it. I don't know if you get anything for managing to time the button presses to make all the paw prints big, but huh? I don't even know if it is a time thing, but... Practice the four wins, take these tips to heart. It's literally just hit the attack button four times. Technique scroll, in case we forget. So now we must do our training. There you go. I did it. Good job! I like how he threatens the dummy to go back together. Good job! Okay, we're gonna leave now. Put more energy into it. You're not the boss of me. I believe he'll just do this forever until you leave, by the way. Had enough, eh? Gain experience, single skill, drive, self-improvement, blah blah blah. Same thing he says every time you go here. There's actually multiple dojos. Uh, you don't always need to come back to this one, thankfully. Which I guess isn't really a problem because there's a teleport right next to it, or fast travel right next to it. Same thing. Alrighty, let us make our way to our original destination. There are uh, a few dojo skills that are super important to have as quickly as you can get them, so we'll want to make sure we have enough yen excess to get stuff, and if we don't, we'll do some grinding to grab them. But anyway, what we were supposed to do earlier is walk to here. We didn't, though, because there's actually no real reason to do this, but, you know. This is the Moon Cave, which is where Orochi lives, but we can't do anything here. Well, this is not the Moon Cave, but, you know. We can go over here. We gain nothing from it because it is blocked off, but I believe we do have to go over here for the remainder of the little story dialogue stuff. Can we brush you? No. Okay. That's what I thought, but I couldn't quite remember. This is where Orochi and the demonic presence live, though. Their power here is much, much stronger than mine. You tell by this wall. What the heck? There's some kind of barrier here. I just wanted to run into it to show you again that it does actually hurt you. 
quite a lot, in fact. And you can, I believe, die if you just continuously run into it for some reason. I don't know why you would, but, you know. Anyway. We will be back here very, very, very late into the game. But it is its own little zone. A fairly big zone, actually. Lots of stuff down there. And a rather... A rather hilarious little, uh... A bit, I suppose. Well, I started running really slowly there, that was strange. Perhaps because it is uphill, who knows? Anyway, this is our actual destination. Now before, we couldn't go down here. I mean, you can swim down there. It's a very long swim, so it takes some damage. Uh, but the reason you can't go down here... Let me just draw one way over there. Should be able to make it. Uh, the reason you can't actually go down here like this and do anything without the lilies... God damn it. Is because there is a wall that you have to jump off of. Whoops, over here. So without the lilies, if you manage to make your way down here, you can't actually do anything. Ooh. Apparently you don't always need to jump off of because you can't jump into walls from water. Which is rather strange, but hey, game balance. Anyway, welcome to the second area, which we will be in for quite a while. As is the tradition in this game, we're in areas for a bit. The cursed zone expanded into the forest. Grasp. Gasp. Sorry. Grasp. This place looks really, really basic right now, because of the curse. But there's actually quite a lot of stuff here. Let's examine. There's a place to rest here. Why are there just chunks of stuff on it? Who knows? Anyway. Let's make our way down this way. See if there's any friends around here. There's that down there. I don't remember if there's a reason to be here right now. But we may as well investigate it. It's a save point. It's got gunk on it, though. There's two save points. Wait a minute. How could anyone live here with this cursed zone spreading? This isn't a save point at all. I can't do anything with it because it's crystal. Can't break that yet. Uh, we can't do anything with this because we don't have wind. And I don't know that we can do anything with this house either. Perhaps we can. I don't. I don't remember the exact flow of story bits because you visit places multiple times, so sometimes I forget where I'm supposed to be. Scattered beads are a, a collectible thing. They're not in any way required. You can also hit the dong. And I think that's all you can do here. Hey. That's totally not creepy. This house does uh, serve as a shortcut to another area. There you go. I knew it was somewhere around here. Hey. You've come, White Wolf, and you look troubled. Bone Reader, Madam Fong. This year is special. I'm a fortune teller. The bones reveal all. If you have money, I can tell your future. 500 yen. Yeah, sure. Why not? Wow. I can see it. In the dense and leafy forest inside a cave sealed by a rock, a part of the wood sprite waits to be revived. Waits for Holy Bomb to break the cracked rock. Clap. She just tells you where the next uh, thing is, apparently. 
good to know, I guess. Although I don't think you ever really need to use her, because I think for the most part the, the saplings are fairly linear. They may take a while to complete, but they are indeed fairly linear. Anyway, let's continue our exploration of the forest out here. Well, the forest that we can explore, anyway. Oh. Not that way, this way. We could fight some of the enemies here. I suppose, why not? Hey. I was expecting him to guard a lot sooner than he actually did. Sprite Globe M. One unit of solar energy. Are we done? We are done. You done. 1200 Yenna fights pretty good right now. Oh wait, we can't go that way. We cannot go that way at all. So which way do we go? Hmm. Oh, that's not the right button at all. What's the options button? Can't really go anywhere over here. Can we? Hmm. How do we explore this area? I have forgotten. Cursed zone. All of that up there should be cursed as well, yeah. That leads to another area. Later on. Hey. Fight me! Bongo Man has arrived, unfortunately. Excuse me. There we go. Excuse me. How did you not get stunned when I was doing the attacker with the attacker thing? Hey, go like in the ground or something. Never mind, just blow me up, that's fine. Oh, he's stunned for some reason. That little thing in the bottom left is a shield, by the way. As far as I remember, that's a shield before we start taking damage. Which is awfully nice of them. There's a thing over there. So perhaps this is our destination that we must get to. Hello. It's now nighttime. Which doesn't really affect us, but hey. Camera. Ah, we have found the sapling. If you recall, she said something about a bomb uh, being required, but we have found the sapling, so now we can explore the rest of the forest. We did it! Remember when I said there was more to the forest than beats the eye? That's not exactly what I said, but, you know. It's actually quite empty while it's cursed, but once it's uncursed, there's all sorts of crap out here, including a fishing minigame. Excuse me, I burped. I don't even know if you guys can hear it when I do that. Probably can, knowing how this works. So we can get an additional ink thing. Obtain a devout bead. So this is our second weapon. This is going to make your life a whole lot easier. The monsters are going to try to get you any way they can. It can be equipped as a sub-weapon or main weapon. The weapon's effect will differ depending on how it's equipped. So it wants us to equip this as the main weapon. Uh, capable of rapid attacks when equipped as a sub-weapon. I think the reflector uh, can 
block when it's a sub weapon? I don't remember exactly. What's about to tell us? Axe is a shield. Oh, look what this is a sub weapon. There you go. I should test it out on the monsters in this area. One more thing. Make sure to stop by Sakuya's tree whenever you return to Gamiki. Indeed, it's very important. So now we have two weapons. And a diggy spot. Diggy diggy hole. We are a dog after all, it is what we do. Excuse me. There's the animals here, but I don't know if we have the food they require. We do. Hooray. Alright. Moving on. Just spend some of this. Do I want to spend it on another ink thing? Though? I really do like ink. Not gonna lie. I think it's the only animals in here. I hate fixed cameras in games, by the way. Because it messes up once it comes out of being a fixed camera and it makes it really weird to move. So, what we're actually going to do, we're gonna take our equipment. Do I want to swap these, actually? Eh, you know, we'll try them like this. Let's go do a, a fight if we don't get interrupted by somebody. We're gonna get interrupted by them. God dang it, dude. They summon me forth to defeat evil. I'm not evil. So we've heard about Waka before. Indeed, he can see Amy's true form, because he is not a simple man. He is Waka. That's a fair response to this. He drew a sword. We. Oui. He's part French. The moment the cursed zone started spreading across Nippon. We do, technically. Well, they don't, but... I do, and you guys should. Time for a fight. Magnifique. Mag That's not how that word is pronounced at all. God dang it. You didn't hear that. Behold, Pillow Talk. Yes, that's the name of his sword. As one could imagine, he's a very good fighter. And this is actually a very difficult fight at the beginning of the game. Hey. Hey. Mostly because the water's not helping. Excuse me, I was trying to block there. So our shield is down. That's the rosary, by the way. Excuse me. Hey, he's fallen. We just need to preferably not get hit into the water, and that makes this fight much easier. Or dodge into the water, I suppose. Because once you're in the water, you can't actually do anything. Come here. This is an easier fight if you have your stuff equipped to block. So you have your other thing as your uh, sub-weapon, so you can actually block. But, you know. 
Not too bad. Helps tremendously if you don't fall in the water like I did. Excuse moi, baby. Yes, we know it is the curse of Aruchi. Everyone has mentioned this about 75 times. Also, this is what happens when you mention his name, by the way. Time for a nap. You don't wake me up, that's rude, I'm trying to nap. Wow, rude. I believe he has that dialogue about us being weaker every regardless of if you flawless him or not. A log and big thrills. I know what he's talking about because I've played the game before, but you guys are in for a treat involving a log and big thrills. And off he goes. What a freak! For mother of all and the holiest of holy gods, we do sleep a lot. Particularly when people are talking. Anyway, we got a garbage score for that. What else is new? I'm bad at the game, clap. Anyway, so this area, we can't do those yet. These things up here. I drew a sun, it's not really what I wanted, but... Uh, we can't do those yet because we don't have the thing that allows us to tether to them. These things, however, we can do. I think we do this. No? Chinese cabbage. It's a bloom? I don't remember. I think we can do these. There we go, it is bloom. They're basically little treasure chests. We get miscellaneous items out of them. You don't know what's in it until you open it because it just shows a generic orange thing in the middle. Generally, you want to open all of them. If you feel like it anyway. It's not required, but, you know, free stuff. It's actually a decent amount of money already so far. It's pretty good. Gonna run around and explore these little areas real quickly. And then once I've finished this small area, gathering up the, the things in this small area right here, because I think this is where they all are. I'll go ahead and end the video.
temporarily increases attack power. Is there one here? There's one right there. Is that it? Who knows, but this will be it for now. Traveler's Charm. Alright, so that's going to be it for now. We have restored the forest to its former glory. Defeated Waka pretty poorly, I suppose I should add, but we still defeated him. Next time, we'll actually finish exploring the uh, the forest area itself, talk to the people around here, do some stuff, etc, etc. For now, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.